So you're excited about the new free upgrade to Windows 11 that's getting ready to be rolled out. Is your PC ready? Stay tuned to see how to find out. Hey everybody, Mike here with IT Pro TV, and I'm gonna show you how to check and see if your PC is gonna be compatible with Windows 11. Now, before we get started, make sure you click on that subscribe link down below and click on that little bell icon so you can get notified when we put out new content. All right, so you've got your Windows 10 machine. You're excited about Windows 11 being rolled out later this year, beginning of next year. You need to make sure your PC is compatible, right? Whether or not they're going to allow you to or whether it will support running Windows 11. How do you do that? Well, thankfully, Microsoft put out a really cool tool that you can use to check and see. And not only will it check and see if your machine is compatible or not, it'll tell you why. So that if there is something you can do about it, you can do it now before the update rolls out. So join me on my screen here. I'm on a Windows 10 box and I'm going to open up File Explorer. And I'm going to navigate over to this Microsoft page. It's actually uh, Windows-11 slash PC Health Check. I'll make sure we put the note in the notes down below. We'll put that link for you uh, so that you can get here as well. But you can do a quick Google search for uh, PC Health Check Microsoft or something like that. You can probably find this. Once you find this web page, we're going to click on the link for Download PC Health Check App. All right. And I'm going to click on that. And it shouldn't take very long to download. It's really, really tiny. And then I'm going to click Open File from right there. Right? Or you could open up File Explorer and double click on it, whatever works for you. All right? I'm going to open that file. While that's installing, I'm simply going to close my browser so we can kind of clean up the screen and it looks a little bit better for you guys out there. All right, and there we go. We can see it's already installed and it's up and it's running. And it's actually a pretty cool tool. It does a little bit more than just check your compatibility. Um, it gives you a bunch of information about your system. You can see statistics on it over here about RAM and processor and things like that. Um, if I scroll back down, I can see really cool stuff about Windows Update, battery storage capacity, startup time, lots of cool stuff, all right? But that's not what we're here for. We're here to see if we can run Windows 11. Right up at the top is where we're going to find that information. You'll we'll see this guy right here, introducing Windows 11. Let's check and see if your PC meets the requirements for Windows 11. And I got a little blue button there that says, check now. That's what we want to do. So let's check now. All right, and did you, did you blink? You might have missed it. It's done already. Let's see what the news is. Oh, good news or great news, according to Microsoft. Uh, we are compatible. We will be running Windows 11 once it rolls out. And it tells me that I've made, you know, I meet all the requirements and that once it becomes available, I should be eligible. All right, now if I zoom out a little bit, I'm going to click on this See All Results and you'll see all of the checks that it ran. And let me see if I can zoom into that a little bit. Uh, these are what it was looking at. You know, does my PC support Secure Boot? Does it have TPM 2.0? Is my processor at a minimum level? Do I have enough RAM? And then if I scroll or zoom out, scroll down and zoom back in, we'll see it's also going to check disk size, processor cores, how many cores I have, and clock speed. So a lot of things that it's checking to verify. Now this is this is really neat because Microsoft rolled this tool out some time ago, several months ago, uh, and then they pulled it because the public said, look, you gave us this tool and all it did was say yes or no, whether or not you were eligible or met the requirements for Windows 11. But it gave you no information about why, right? So there was nothing you could do about it. You couldn't figure out, you know, why don't I meet those minimum requirements? What is it that's preventing Windows 11 from being installed? They took the tool down several months later, they put the tool back up and now we have this. We get this beautiful report. Let's take a look at what it looks like on a machine that doesn't meet the requirements. All right? Now, I took the liberty of installing it already so we didn't have to see that again. So I, I made a shortcut on the desktop right here, PC Health Check. I'm going to open that up, and I'm going to click Check Now. And I don't get that same smiley face or that great news, do I? All right. Uh, I am going to zoom in for you. But here's the best thing about this tool, is it tells me exactly what the problem is. I don't have TPM 2.0. So now I can do my troubleshooting. Is it the fact that my laptop has it, but I haven't enabled it in my BIOS? Uh, or do I need to go out and buy a TPM and install it in my machine? You know, but at least I know where to start and I can try to figure out if I can make this machine ready to support Windows 11 or if I'm gonna have to upgrade my hardware. All right, now if I click on see all results, you'll see that. I think that's the only one I failed. The rest of them are all green. 
But the point is, it would show you exactly what you needed to do to get ready for Windows 11. So we've taken a look at the tool PC Health Check that we can download for free from Microsoft. We saw how easy it was to install in our Windows 10 systems and how it can give us the information we need about Windows 11 compatibility, whether that's great news and we're ready for Windows 11 or whether it's not so great news and we got a couple things we might wanna work on before Windows 11 rolls out. So hopefully you've enjoyed this content. Make sure you stay tuned for more Windows 11 content coming your way.